Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and we got some breaking news in the NFL. The Washington Commanders have released Carson Wentz, quarterback, who started about, what, eight games for them last season. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, eight games. But yeah, he started about, yeah, eight games for them last season. And, I mean, I think there was no surprise that Carson Wentz was going to obviously play with them next season, but this is breaking news because of his contract. And obviously, I mean, he's just uh, I mean, even though he didn't play that good with the Commanders, I think he's still a a good quarterback. He's gonna have to find a a, some, a place where he can be decent. Um, whether that's as a, a starter, which I think there's probably only about one to two teams in the NFL that he can be a starter for right now, just to the way he played last year and how he's you know flip flopped team after team from the Eagles to the Colts to the Commanders. Um, I only think there's about one to two teams that would honestly right now want Carson Wentz as their starter. And I'll go over those t two teams that I think could want Carson Wentz as a starter next year. Um, but so, yeah. Um, but I do think if, if he's okay with, you know, going into next season as a backup, there's, there could be a lot of teams who could be interested in Carson Wentz as their backup quarterback. Carson Wentz as a backup quarterback, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I think if Carson Wentz is the backup, I think that's right there. That might be one of the best backups in the league. I mean, um, you can't find a guy in the NFL a lot that, besides Cam Newton, you can't find a guy who's a backup quarterback and MVP in this league, uh, besides Cam Newton, who we didn't even see play la football last year. But I mean, yeah, I think that I think Carson Wentz right now, and I think the likely he knows that he, most likely next year his role will be a backup quarterback. But I think he, there is p potentially a chance he could be a starter somewhere. And let's let's go over it. So Commanders cut him. They cleared twenty six point one million dollars in cap space. That's great for the Commanders. Absolutely great. Um, now where could I possibly see him going? I know the Colts experiment did not work out, but I think the number one spot for Carson Wentz right now has to be the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers, they're in a spot where they're looking for a quarterback. Right now, I'd like the Derek Carr fit better, but I don't know if that happens. But you got the history of Frank Wright and Carson Wentz. Him being the Philly offensive coordinator when... You got him being the Philly offensive coordinator when when um when Carson Wentz was the Super Bowl. Well, he wasn't the he wasn't the Super Bowl quarterback, but uh, if it wasn't for Carson Wentz, they would have never been to that Super Bowl that led Nick Foles to to win that Super Bowl. But that amazing season we saw from Carson Wentz before he tore his ACL, that MVP Carson Wentz, that was his offensive coordinator in Frank Wright. That was also his head coach. When he was playing in Indianapolis that year, um, as you know, people want as much as people want to hate on Carson Wentz, he made some mistakes in that uh, in that 2021 season with the Colts. But he was not bad at all. I mean, he made he had some bad plays, he had some bad games, but for the most part of that season, Carson Wentz was pretty good for for that Colts team, and didn't even have that great of a receiving staff either. So I honestly I think with the Panthers I think he could be decent. This the question is does Frank Wright really want to do that again? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, honestly, Carson Reeds Wentz is probably one of the reasons why he lost his job in Indianapolis. So I don't think he wants to take him on. I think he'd rather draft someone like Anthony Richardson or even sign someone like Derek Carr. Uh, so that fit that that's a no. I think you got to put some of the other the you got to put some of the you got to put some of the other AFC South teams that are without quarterbacks. Saints could maybe have some interest, but I think a team in, like the Tampa Bay Bucks who are without a quarterback um, don't have a lot of money to spend for a quarterback. Carson Wentz is a guy who has now been released, so he's, he has a fresh he has a fresh contract. I think he knows that he's not going to be able to get a high contract. So you could if 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 the Tampa Bucks, just my this is my opinion, if the Buccaneers could get Carson Wentz on the cheap, which I think um it could be a little hard, but if they can get him for cheap, if I'm the Bucks, I might do it because for the Bucks right now, 
they they had they do they do not have a lot of cap space. I don't think they could afford to bring in Derek Carr. I don't think they could afford to bring in Jimmy G. They'd have to make a lot of roster cuts to let to, to get the money to bring that in. Carson Wentz could be the cheapest option for them at quarterback. Uh, Tampa could be a good fit for Carson Wentz. So right now, I think two AFC South, I mean, two, sorry, not AFC, two NFC South, three NFC South teams, could, or any, honestly, any NFC South team. The Falcons could be even be the mix. I think right now, NFC South, South teams can be the option for Carson, um, any of them. I doubt the Falcons, but I think the Bucks or the Panthers could be an option for Carson. Let's talk about backup uh Let's talk about backup chances. I can see the Chiefs being an option. I mean, uh, Chad Haney, he's he's announced retirement. Um, I mean, with 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 Mahomes' in, ankle injuries that we saw in the playoffs, that could be a concern. They could want to, you know, potentially bring in a decent backup. Carson Wentz is a decent backup, um, even a potential starter on about one to two teams in this league. So, um, in that case. Carson Wentz would be a great backup for the Chiefs, in my opinion. I don't think Mahomes is going to get a long-term injury. So in that case, he's just a really good backup that's right there if, any God forbid, anything happens to Mahomes. So Carson Wentz got to be an option for the Chiefs um, if as a backup quarterback. But I doubt it because he's still a little expensive. I think the Chiefs could really just rather want to add someone in from really cheap. I don't know a lot of teams. There might be a couple teams who... Uh, could be have could have some uncertainty about their starting quarterback and might want to add in Carson as a backup uh, potentially, but um, the, the the list of teams who could be interested in Carson Wentz as for for a backup position is unknown. But what I do know, if I in the NFL right now, teams I think there's only about three to four teams that could only potentially have interest in in signing Carson Wentz as their starter. Right now, I think the only teams that would actually even think about signing a contract for Carson Wentz is the Tampa Bay Bucks, who don't have a lot of money to spend and need a quarterback, um, and then the Carolina Panthers, and that's only because um, that's only because Frank Wright, the head coach, is his former offensive coordinator in Philly and his former head coach in, in Indianapolis. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens with uh, Carson Wentz. You guys, let me know your thoughts on him being released by Washington. You guys, let me know. You guys, let me know where you think he's going to end up. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.